all hope you all are well and good so today in this video we are going to start a new topic the topic is the working of a computer from chapter number one so students let us start so children from the real life activity if we see that if we have to make a cake then we have to collect the ingredients of the cake isn't it we have to collect the flour we have to collect the dry fruits we have to collect the baking powder all these things we have to collect and then we have to prepare the dough and put that dough inside the oven so from here we can see that we are giving the ingredients for making the cake inside the oven and what is happening the oven is processing the ingredients and after processing the ingredients we are getting the cake as output so here we can see that we are giving input the oven is processing the cake and then we are getting the output so like this the computer works next is making a building with the help of blocks okay to make a building with the help of blocks we need the blocks isn't it first of all we need the blocks then with the help of the blocks we will make the building so the blocks are the input we are making the building that is the process and we are we have built the building that is the output the building which we have prepared with the help of the block that is the output here the blocks are acting as the input preparing of the building that is the process and the building which we are getting that is prepared with the help of the blocks is the output okay so children from here we can conclude from here we can conclude that the data and instruction which we give the computer is the input okay the entire data is changed and processed into a meaningful information and that information that that processing of information is known as the process okay and output what is output children the result of the processing is known as the output the output is displayed through the output devices like the monitor or the printer etc clear children how the computer works so as a conclusion i am telling it again how a computer works we give instruction to the computer that is input the computer processes the instruction or the information that is the processing and we are getting the result from the computer that is the output okay children and this process is known as the input process output cycle this is known as the ipo cycle input process and output cycle 